these stories, I spent a lot of time blowing things up and making love to Dolly Birds. But I never blow up a Dolly Bird before making love to her. And I'm grateful to Mr. Fleming for that. But there are always women around, and I would make love to all of them. Most of the time, I would only know them for five or ten minutes before we would give ourselves to each other. We would give ourselves to each other in bed, on the floor, in a wardrobe, on the roof of a speeding chair. It was a little uncomfortable, but you always felt you were getting somewhere. But there was a catch. Because no sooner would I make love to a woman than on the very next page, she would die. <laughs> I told you this Fleming was strange. Sex and death, sex and death continuously. In the story, I would be devastated for about 30 seconds. <laughs> then I would find another one, even more beautiful than the dead one. This one I might just manage to kiss. And then somebody from the shadows would chew a knife into her back. I think it was Hank Marvin. I always hated any group with Cliff Richard in it. Just a little joke for the white folks, you know? Anyway, after Mr. Fleming died, I heard they were going to be filming the stories of Bond using an actor by the name of Scene Connery. Well, at least they tried to make him sound black, see? So I ring up Hollywood, and I speak to a man by the name of Cobby Broccoli. What a stupid name. <laughs> and I said, why am I not in these films when I am the original Bond? And he tell me that they're having some problems with the design of the new camera lens. Something about it not being able to pick up dark objects. <laughs> but as soon as they have the problem sorted, they would give me a call. So, when I get that call, you will be seeing me on your screens. So remember, my name is Bond, the original, Black Bond, Neves <laughs> Dirt, no, I mean, 007. <laughs>